If you have one of these old MacBook Pros and you're trying to figure out what to do with it, it's slow, it's sluggish, and the last operating system that was supported is Catalina. So let's bring some life back to your MacBooks and install a Linux distribution. Today I'll be quickly going through the installation process. For this video, I chose to go with Ubuntu as my distro, uh, just because I like the way it feels, I like the way it looks, it supports my needs. But you can choose any Linux distro uh, that you feel like fits your needs, and this installation should work for that also. Just make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss some of the most important steps for the post-installation process. So let's get into it. Type in Ubuntu in the search bar. You'll see the first thing is download Ubuntu. I'll go ahead and click on that. That's going to take us to the Ubuntu uh, web page. Going to hit download desktop image and then go to the LTS version. So right now it's 22.04.2 .2. and then that's going to start downloading. I'm going to be using Bolina Etcher because uh, I have a Mac. Uh, you can use Bolina Etcher or you can use Rufus if you want to, um, whatever you prefer. So same thing, we'll just type in Bolina uh, Etcher and Google, uh, get that downloaded. If you already have it downloaded, you can skip this step. Uh, once that downloads, you're going to uh, open up Bolina Etcher and then hit flash device. And then you're going to pick your Ubuntu ISO file. Uh, make sure your USB is plugged in at this time. You're going to click the ISO file, hit open, and then select target. Make sure you select the correct USB uh, that you had plugged in. Once that's selected, just hit select and then hit flash. Uh, this might take a second, uh, so just be patient. And then once that's done, it'll let you know. Next thing we're gonna have to do, uh, so once the flash is complete, unplug the USB from your device and then go ahead and grab your MacBook Pro. We're gonna plug the USB into there. So you're going to boot up your device while holding the option key. You're gonna be able to pick your device. You should see your hard drive next to your USB file. Go ahead and select that USB to boot from. Once you boot from that USB, it should bring you to this try or install Ubuntu um, home screen. You're gonna hit try and install Ubuntu. And once you get there, you're going to hit install Ubuntu. This is gonna be the uh, Ubuntu installer. Select your keyboard layout. Here we're doing English and then hitting continue. All right, so between the normal and the minimal installation. I'm gonna do minimal installation uh, just so this is a little bit quicker. Okay, and then you get into your installation type. So here I'm erasing the disk, so I'm making sure everything is, I'm making sure everything is deleted off the uh, MacBook Pro disk. It's gonna be completely fresh with a fresh install of Ubuntu. So here I'm hitting erase disk and install Ubuntu. And you can see this warning says, this will delete all your programs, documents, photos, music, and other files in all operating systems. So just be aware of that. Uh, this will delete everything. Okay, after this, I'm gonna hit install now. Okay, and then we're gonna pick our installation time zone. I'm on the East Coast, so I'm gonna pick New York. Kind of the setup here. So your name, your computer's name. So I'm gonna get that typed in. Choose a password, uh, confirm your password. Continue, go grab some coffee or something like that uh, while it's going. And then once the installation's complete, you're gonna have to restart. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit restart now. Get back to this home screen. It's gonna say, please remove the installation medium and then press enter. So make sure you remove your USB stick and then press enter. It'll go through the reboot process. All right, we're gonna go ahead and click our username that we created, type in our password. The setup is uh, pretty self-explanatory, so you can just go through that on your own. And then after everything is done, you have a fresh uh, install of Ubuntu on your MacBook Pro. It's awesome, it's responsive. Uh, everything still works, the function keys, uh, the webcam still works. Uh, there are a few things that we're gonna have to go over uh, to make sure everything operates properly. So first thing we're gonna need to install is the Wi-Fi drivers. So you're gonna to have to connect with an ethernet cable through an ethernet port. If your MacBook Pro has an ethernet port, mine does, uh, so I can do that. If you have no port to use, you can use the ethernet dongle, so USB to ethernet, or you can hotspot from your phone, uh, connect via Bluetooth or USB uh, to, just to get the uh, connection to the internet. So from here, we're gonna open up the terminal. We're gonna type in these two commands, it's gonna be 
sudo apt update and then sudo apt install bcm wl tac kernel tac source and make sure you type these in that order we're going to keep a few things in mind uh, after this install so a little some things switch up so you're going to be using the control key instead of command key for shortcuts like copy and paste so you're going to be hitting control c and control v for copy and paste instead of command um, and then function keys like i said function keys webcam uh, still work the only issues i have um, run into is with Bluetooth headphones, the Bluetooth can be a little splotchy, it's intermittent sometimes. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a good way to repurpose your MacBook Pro, bring it back to life, get some use out of it again. If you like videos like this or any other tech-related videos, please like the video, share it, subscribe, and then just come back for more. I'll see you guys next time.